want to make a bacon wiki. Bacon wiki. Yeah. So, hi. Yeah? yeah? Right? Yes. Deal? Boing. <laughs> Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. This is our living room couch and also... The Acquia Podcast. Today, I'm with two very young Drupalists. Would you like to introduce yourselves? <laughs> sure. I'm Victoria, and I'm the Drupal Princess. It's your turn. I'm Oliver, and I'm Juan Cologne Jr. Right. So this is my daughter, Victoria. This is my son, Oliver. We just got back from DrupalCon Amsterdam. Which is awesome. They had... Friday off of school. So they were able to come to DrupalCon trivia night on Thursday. And then they actually spent the day at the Sprint. At the newbie Sprint. And a bunch of people <clears throat> helped them out getting started with Drupal. I'd like to expressly and directly thank at least three people at the Sprints. Alexar Pendaste, Brian Gilbert, and Ruben Tejero, who got them started. Loaned them computers for the day, in Victoria's case. Yeah. <clears throat> so... How was it to finally be at a DrupalCon? It was different than I expected. There was less food. Um, there was not a lot of light. I knew there were windows, but they were all closed. But it was really cool, apart from that. It was a lot different than what you described us. You did miss the session days, mm. but what were you expecting uh, the way I've described it in the past? Well, at the sprints, there'd be just lots of people coding and... Which they were. No, yeah, but nobody, like, explaining, nobody figuring it out. They're all just knowing what they were doing. It was like another day at the office, but, um, like, they're not the office. So you mean the number of people who were there to help you learn and, and dedicate real time to you was, was a surprise? Yes, and also that there were, like, um, people who... Ha who worked with Drupal, but they didn't know everything about Drupal 8. So when I was trying to make my first website, we were we had some trouble figuring out what views were because we knew the one I was working with, with uh, Brian knew what views were, but with Drupal 8, they were a bit different. So he had to figure it out as much as I had, did. And that was different. Right. So since the software is always growing and changing, everybody is learning somewhere yes. and Drupal's so big now nobody knows the whole thing in one go. What did you get up to on sprint day Ollie? Well I sat down with Ruben and he showed me all the CSS basics and how to theme a website and he let me uh, make my website and he was helping me along with almost every step of the way. And Victoria you ended up building a new Drupal 8 website. Yes I did because I wanted to work on a website that was already there but it was on maintenance so we just said all right let's start from scratch with Drupal 8 which was fun I had no idea about anything so we could just start from zero but starting from zero yeah. and working with Ruben and Brian tell us what double escaped label on change of field machine name means to you well, so I was working with Views, and um, we were trying to build a new block in a view, and it was called Image. But Image <coughs> was already a field machine name in the machine. So I said, we decided, all right, let's change it because then it can save and it works without errors. When we tried to save it, a double escape label appeared, and we thought, well, that's not right. And that's how... So I what does a double escaped label look like? Well, it's when lots of weird code appears on the, on the box you're trying to change. So instead of it saying 
machi machine field and then there's a little block to change what it's called. There's like HTTP little things. There's bits of code appearing in the interface where you wouldn't expect it. Yes, right? and they don't make sense. So me. the great news, and I'm extremely <laughs> proud, that Victoria found a bug in Drupal 8 now has a username on drupal.org, Drupal underscore princess. Who gave you that name? Morton. Morton DK helped her find a good username. And filed her first rep bug report, which is at drupal.org slash node slash 2349993. And in the meantime, it's been solved and it's marked ready to be committed, reviewed, and tested by the community. Congratulations Thank on... You contributing on your very first day at your very, very first DrupalCon. I'm really, really proud of you. Well, now that it's been fixed, I, of course, need to find more. So. But, you've, uh, but you like that, right? Yeah. So next time we get the chance, are you guys ready to go to a Drupal camp or another DrupalCon? Yes. Yeah. And what do you think you want to get up to next time? Well, I, I think I'd like to go to the to the sprint again where they have mentors because even though it's not my first sprint I still don't know a lot right but I want to be able I'm starting to learn code hopefully and I wanna maybe not exactly go into the coding and theming of a website but being able to build one is a good first step Sure. So we'll get you signed up for some training next time. Hopefully yeah. we'll have enough time so that you can go to the session days as well because there's a ton of stuff to learn. And then, um, great. I'm so glad that you guys could come this time and I'm really, really proud of your contribution. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks also, Victoria, for helping out at the DrupalCon trivia night in Amsterdam where you appeared as Drupal Girl. I'll include yes. some photos that uh, were taken on the night. That was a lot of fun. Well, it was great having you guys at a DrupalCon, and I hope that we can um, manage it as a family again sometime. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can I skip school? Probably not. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. <laughs>